The Hyphenate devs released a patch on the beta branch, the 1.13, and it mentions a major rebalance of the armor system. Oh, there are no details provided. What has changed in the armor? So in order to find out what has changed, we do it the old-fashioned way. We wait for somebody else to make a YouTube video and then we watch it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to narrow down where the changes are. So for that, I took a screenshot of my Honey Badger. That's the non-beta version. You can see the stats here. And now I took a picture. Next picture is one from the beta branch. Same ship. Now the only thing that changes in those two screenshots, see? So the thrust is showing 136 on the old version and 78 on the, on the new one. However, nothing changes on thrust, weight, speed. All the stats are the same weight price. So that thrust number is probably just an internal calculation display issue. It doesn't actually change the thrust because in-game it flies the same way. And what I can also tell from that is that nothing changes about the weight of the armor because otherwise the price or any of those numbers might have changed. So the only change that we can detect is something in how the armor interacts with the uh, projectiles. I'm going to start High Fleet. And I'm going to take the Honey Badger and save it as a <clears throat> call it the test badger. Okay, now I want to test missiles and I want to test the guns. However, I don't want to start with the smallest guns because 37 millimeter already almost does no damage to to armor. It takes a long time in the normal branch to actually get through it. Well, in previous pre playthroughs of the beta branch, earlier today, I have a subjective feeling that armor is a lot stronger than it was before. So I want to start with the 180 millimeter guns and I'm going to fire one precise shot at a target, see what the armor does. Then I'm going to load, <clears throat> sorry, then I'm going to load up the beta branch and repeat the same. Okay, we're shooting 180. Test. I'm going to go large ships. And I hope it's going to be Bore. Because they have nice armor plating on the side. Oh, this one works through Komara. So I'm going to try to hit that armor piece over here and see what happens. Okay, I probably hit those pieces over here. Let's try again. Okay, okay, an explosion. There was direct hit over here. And the armor color, I think it changes to yellow. It changes to red, I think, when you got 50% on the armor left. Actually, uh, yeah. No, wait. Um, the way it works in this screen, in combat, when the armor gets damaged, it, it turns a, a, slight, a slight shade of red, and then it gets, uh, gets destroyed. So I think 50% is where it gets red. Okay, so no damage done. Let's try again. Okay, let's check this here. See, this part turned red and it hit something over here. I'm going to try to hit up here now. Okay, it was a direct hit. It was probably not hit previously over here. Let's try one more hit. Okay. Now we can exit the game. And we're going to try the beta branch. Okay, let's see if, if I can hit the armor plating on the side. Okay, no, no effect apparently. Okay, that's going to hit right here. Okay, hit the escape pods, no good effect. Yeah, the must have hit right on the plate. There must have been a direct hit on the plate. 
no effect whatsoever. And I'm going to fire two or more shots on that. And if, if those things remain white and no effect on them, that means the armor was, I think, drastically increased by threefold in its resistance against um, 180. I'm not sure what the Archangel has. Does he have 180mm or 130? Oh, notice I got hit a few times and there's no visible damage on the armor. They should hit right here. Again, small piece got hit, but the double piece has shown no visible damage. Yeah, I want to hit the same spot twice. Yep, that's exactly where it should land. Okay, I think there we have it. That piece here must have been hit at least two times directly, either here or the here. That means the new armor upgrade, it gives you likely... Uh, how do I quantify that? At least two more direct hits with 180 before the armor even shows visible damage on the same spot. So the armor effectivity appears to be... With this ammo, mm, three or four times higher than previously. And I'm not going to test it for all the smaller ammo types because it's going to take too much time. And on some smaller types like 37, 57, even 100, it's going to take much longer to test it because until the damage shows. And the second problem is it's impossible to land um, precise hits with a small ammo like this. So I think that should conclude the test. And as always, thanks for watching.